and welcome along and welcome to this first look at Buckland Farm. This is a uh, real life location uh, based map. It is by MS Modding and I am impressed so far. It's got a very big yard and we'll go and have a look at that in a moment. And uh, it's, it's looking pretty nice from what I've seen so far. I've only really uh, had enough to, to get the land rover here and uh, and have a quick look around the farm so uh it's it's i've not seen a massive amount of this map yet but what i have seen has been a little bit impressive first things first let's have a quick look at what we have here in the map itself uh so this map has three farms 75 different shaped fields we've got a fairly large forestry area to the southeast of the map here and uh, we've got a very wide range in the size of fields. Uh, coming from field 21 here, which is a small grass field right up to, well, field one. Although this field here does seem to be something you can purchase. It doesn't seem to be numbered as far as I can tell. But there are some pretty big fields. So 72 is pretty big. Uh, we've got 40, 41 being a very big grass field. So there's there's a good variety in the field sizes we've got here as well. As far as field prices go, uh, this is why I said uh, about this area here being slightly strange that it's not numbered as a field because farmland ID uh, 39 is the most expensive area on this map. It is a whopping 1,984,225, uh, so nearly 2 million for that area being the most expensive. The cheapest is actually this little area in here, uh, Farmland ID 40, which is 42,696. So there's a wide variety in the cost of the fields and the farmland uh, areas around here. Uh, however, one thing about this map is that despite these uh, these huge variation between the most expensive and the least expensive, a lot of the farmland is a very similar price. So between sort of the half million and a million uh, pound cost uh, seems to be where most of this map falls, uh, which means that as far as I start from scratch, it's a little bit more difficult there are some uh, fields that are a little bit cheaper around, so you can get them, but you're looking at, st still looking at sort of 200,000 for uh, those kind of fields. So yeah, you're, you're going to be starting off pretty much with a single field on here, unless you have stuff really dotted all over the map. It is quite nice, though, to see some uh, some larger farmland on a British map, which is uh, which is quite cool. And I think if you're starting on here, you're not going to have a huge amount of problem if you go with a uh, farm manager setup. I think it'll work fairly well. Let's head into the farmyard first. And this has to be one of the bigger farmyards I've seen for a British map. Uh, there's a lot of space here. You do start off with a, a good mix of animals here. I think that is... Uh, I think that is cows. It's a very sort of muddy setup for cows, but uh, it is indeed cow uh, cows. In fact, something I should talk about on here, and you can see it uh, with what we've got here. We've got a lot of calves and a lot of extra animals on here. So there's uh, cows and uh, we've got calves, we've got goats... Uh, we've got a lot of extra animals uh, put in. And this map being a cross-platform map has those all in on console as well as PC, which is quite nice. Uh, I, li I like that a lot. Uh, we've got more sheds down this way. This seems almost to be an unused cow barn. Yeah, I think it is. I, I do wonder actually how customizable this yard is. And if we come into here, can we demolish these buildings? So no, this is not that customizable of a yard. There are some buildings that can be, but if you're looking to reconfigure this, uh, you've got not a massive amount of the yard that's uh, 
that's re uh, that's reconfigurable and 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 demolishable uh there is that nice uh placeable area over here although this again does seem to be i think this might be a chicken area over here uh, although there's no shed or anything it's just a uh it just seems to be a run around area for a chicken so yeah it's it's not the most customizable yards uh it doesn't need to be necessarily because there is uh, a lot of space to maneuver in here and i don't think i would feel a huge need to to customize this yard but i do like to see that ability in maps these days lots of maps i've come into yards and gone i really would like to rebuild this and uh, and make this work a bit better for me and yeah not having that uh, opportunity uh does take a little bit away from a map i think we do have and i noticed this earlier we had, do have a greenhouse in the middle of this field here and i think this is just a standard greenhouse uh yeah so this is just a standard greenhouse looks as well here like you already own the biogas plant as well uh although i'm not sure we owned that section of the map We have a quick look in here and see exactly what we do own. Uh, so we own this area here. We're going, we own the farm up here. This is where we are at the moment. Uh, we own all the outer edges. So yeah, owning that area there, that area there, that is all the outer edges stuff, which seems to include one of the farms. Oh no, that includes the BGA. So yes, we own the forest and the BGA straight from the get go. And the price of that outer area is zero. So, yeah, it's only the BGA from the get-go I'm not so sure about on New Farmer. It's it's always an interesting thing to see how maps are set up. And uh, and in this case, it's uh, find it a little bit odd to, to be owning that straight from the get-go. Unless it fits in a story kind of way like Attingham Park it. Uh, and how that works where that's all you've got here you seem to be set up with an awful lot straight from the beginning now we're going to head up to the top here and i think we're beginning to find out why that area up the top is so expensive but also uh is not marked as a field it seems to be a massive forestry area and this map now feels a little bit like it's coming into, a, into its own. We've got a lot of detail coming in at this top section of the map. I'm, wow, I am actually barely blown away by this. So unsurprisingly up here in this very large forestry area, we do have the sawmill. So we've got all of our areas here to, to buy and sell wood products. Uh, but i love this this is absolutely gorgeous all of this detail in amongst all these trees up here just allows this massive forestry area to come to life this is absolutely fantastic i love to see this and i'm, I'm kind of waxy lyrical about it but on so many maps you go in and there's not this kind of variation and not this kind of attention to getting some some detail and some beauty into the forestry area and with such a large forestry area on here i think that's that's becomes pretty important on this map and yeah there is there is undergrowth and uh flowers and plants and that works really really well i am i am impressed and that actually bodes well very well for the rest of this map to have uh, a load of extra detail uh, on this like that and that does seem to be something that's been set up with all of the extra stuff that's been added into this map we've got uh, extra uh, grass uh, textures we've got new crops we've got uh, extra uh, as I said before the extra animals there's there's a lot of extra stuff that's been put into this map and it and it seems to really be a, a case of getting as much into here as possible 
and I want to look now at the sides here because I do like the edge of this map as well. That is that is really well done. It is a little more obvious than than some maps are done, but I don't think that takes anything away from this map. It it works. It makes it look like something in the distance and a little bit away. I do feel like looking at where we are that it might drop away a bit at the side. So it's not a smooth transition, but certainly driving along the roadway here, uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's uh, it's particularly odd or, or bad. Now we're coming into a town here and that we've got some custom buildings and some custom houses. I'm not sure how much of this is custom uh, stuff to this map or how much of it might come from elsewhere this is a Somerset map and I do know it does use some stuff that has previously been on Oxygen David's maps so uh, some of this could be taken from there but I'm I'm not 100% sure about that uh, it is nice to have a, a good little town like this uh, that sort of you can work your way around and I think this might be one of the additional farms can we get this gate open oh yeah there we go so we'll have a look in here and see what's about ah uh, yes we've got a pig farm in here so uh, just bring our landy around looks like we've got water point uh, pigs nice thing with this map uh, this is not something we have any access to for the pigs or, or anything at the moment because we don't own this farm so yet this is one of those maps where until you own an area you don't have access to its functions absolutely love to see that that is fantastic there is a fuel tank there that you seem to already have ownership of possibly name of that farm that is the pig and whistle which is an interesting name for a farm very very odd uh, we've got the pub here, so the uh, Pyra Inn, which is a cell point, and then around the top up here, we seem to have uh, a farmyard or something like that in town. Oh no, I can see what this is. So this is the shop up the top here, and like uh, Valley Spring, this seems to have equipment owned by another farm yes so these are actual pieces of equipment uh they're the actual vehicles that are in the game uh, they're just not owned by us so we can't actually access any of them i know rented by you that's that's interesting so that all says that these are all rented by me, but I have no access to them. That is uh, that is very interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued as to how that has been done. But looks like we've got a nice big area to spawn in equipment here. That is very useful for contracts. Obviously, we want to try and have as much space as possible for that kind of thing. Uh, because if we uh, don't, then it becomes very difficult for us to actually uh, get those kind of things set up. We've got, a, we've got like a, a town fair or something on there with a lot of vehicles on show. And then at the end here, we have the aforementioned BGA, which, which we own at the moment and is part of what we own. It's in a different area of the map to where I thought it was going to be. So the BGA is up here and, yeah, is in the area of uh, Farmland 63, which is basically the town and everything like that that we can own. So down the bottom here, oh, that's another farm. Oh, no, that's the animal dealer down the bottom there. So, yeah, BGA over there. Uh, we own it and uh, would allow you very quickly to do uh, a grass setup with 
uh, silage and things if you're coming as new farmer will be interesting when we have a look at the equipment to see if there's any equipment that you're given to do that with as well one thing i do like about this map that i noticed early on is that you can just drive around the whole thing uh, again this this one suffers from a, a similar issue that i would have said with uh with clarkson's farm although uh, not clarkson's farm with chipping norton um if i put my land rover on here that is almost a two-way road i'm i'm not quite sure why we're getting more and more maps that are like this which have pretty wide uh uh farm tracks that that have this this massive width of the farm tracks i've noticed it especially because i've noticed it on Salonka, uh where they're not that wide i mean this track here this is what i would expect to see more like on a width of farm track and we seem to be getting a lot of maps recently that that have this extra width to them now i'm hoping there is some way through at the bottom corner here and we do have a track down here but whether i can actually access it is another thing yeah i think we can go this way uh all in all otherwise though uh, i am liking this there's, there's a lot to like about this map it really does have a good amount of detail on it it's it, it feels alive it feels detailed uh and it and it feels like a nice place to play especially if you're using that sort of medium to large equipment and want a, a british map that you can do that with uh it seems to be a, a map that will work well for that uh we come into the or into a third farmyard here this is the stables we've got a horse jumping arena we've got uh i think this is the base game horse stables maybe Certainly. oh yeah we can't access them because we don't own it but that that to me looks like the base game one uh with its own little paddock for our horses and yeah this is a this is a nice little yard i like this quite a bit and yeah this is nice it's a it's a good little horse yard this uh we do know no no this must be our third farmyard and looking at here yeah we we only have three farms we've got the cow farm the pig farm and the horse farm so this is the horse farm doesn't look like we have a sheep farm on here interestingly enough so uh that is uh that's interesting that it's gone for a horse uh farm setup rather than a, than a sheep farm and, and not mixed any of that in i don't know where the goats come into it there must be sheds for the goats and and things around here but currently not seen any placement for them at the moment we've got what looks like a cell point must be up here or another yard in fact cell point is exactly what this is it is a cell point for uh straw and hay what interests me is over here is through this fence we do have a here we go we've got a an animal uh, bit over here so this is not one that appears when you purchase this is goats there we go in fact uh this is yeah this is all goats so there are some areas that you don't get by purchasing the land because i don't believe we own this unless this is one of those areas that we already have so where are we yeah we're here we're in field 11 that says it's a sheep pasture and we do own it but we don't own the land so there's it seems to be a little bit of a mix between uh getting access to stuff when you purchase land and just straight up having access to stuff on land you don't own i think if i was to to see an update to this i i would like to see these bits that you are you don't that that are on land you don't own i'd like to see that folded into the you have to buy the land in order to get it 
Yeah, I know for the purposes of this first look, it's actually been helpful to me to have that uh, bit where it's available and, uh, and easy for me to see. But it actually would have been, uh, I think, much nicer to have folded that into you have to buy the land stood. Interesting that that feels a little bit disconnected, that field as well, from any of the farms. It's quite a way away from everything else. We're going to pull into here because we have another sell point. This is uh, the garden center. And around the back of it, it looks like we've got a sell point or two. Yep, yeah, we've got a sell point right here. And then at the back, is that a lime purchase point? Which uh, I always like to see on a map. Uh, but around the back, this is... Yeah, it is a purchase point. It might be a purchase point for more than just lime as well. There seems to be quite a bit here. And it's not your traditional lime setup. So, yeah, there might be more than you can uh, more that you can purchase from here than just that. Uh, again, good to see. I like a little bit of variation in that. And that works well. We'll head down this way from here. Uh, because we do have the animal purchase, uh, the animal market down this way. And again, we still have a really nice amount of detail down here. In fact, I think getting out of the starting farm on here, the detail and, and the beauty of this map really shines. The, uh, the starting farm doesn't really give that well an indication of... Uh, what this map has to offer, I don't think. And I'd, I'd probably try and look to get a little bit out of that way. Uh, we have got another farmyard. Oh, no, this isn't a farmyard. This is the animal uh, market. So, yeah. Good purchase area over here. I think we can purchase everything. In fact, this should show us how many animal pens we have actually have access to. So we've got a cow barn, a chicken pasture, a sheep pasture. That's interesting. So that does not let me automatically buy stuff for the goat pasture here. Um, and it also reveals that we have both a sheep pasture and a chicken pasture uh, available to us as well. Yeah, I... I don't know where either of those are at the moment and uh, that's interesting well i think the chicken uh, area we we did work out at the farm and we'll have a look at that in a bit uh but um yeah it's it's a little bit of an oddity i think uh that we've got that goat pasture but we can't put any goats in it although we could put goats in it so we can't do that from the animal market that could be a side effect of it being an add-in of the uh, extra animals being added uh being like that uh but it yeah it does seem just that little bit odd to me that we can't buy the goats directly from the uh, animal market having not used the goats and the extra animals so far uh, that's that's very possible that that is uh, a, a side effect of adding those in and i'm just uh i'm just not aware of, uh, of that being a thing heading back up towards our main farm now i had to backtrack a little bit and we are do you know what i what i really like about this map is the roadways like this they feel a little bit more enclosed they feel very very british uh and, and i just i love the the amount of of bushes and everything around it these these roads feel like good country lanes and it's it's really quite nice it's it's a good place to drive around and be in and and works so so well for me from that point of view uh it, it does feel like a living breathing area which is uh, absolutely fantastic uh works exceptionally well from that point of view so we'll pull back into the farmyard here i'm gonna or into uh, the farm that we own here and we'll just park up here 
taken off our landy and we're just gonna go and look at that that area over here which i think is a chicken area let's see if there's any indication yeah so we've only got the paw print for buying stuff and the uh feed trough so oh wow there's quite a lot of variation here but we got ducklings and and ducks as well so you have ducks on this farm too that's that's pretty cool i'm uh i'm i'm quite happy it does like make me wonder actually i think when we were down at the animal market uh that sheep pasture was where we could buy goats for in fact i've just popped back down to the sheep uh to the animal uh market to test this and if we select sheep pasture yep we can we can put goats into here and that is that is what it is it's it's labeled as a sheep pasture um but very much is a goat pasture so that is a quick tour around the map let's have a look at the starting equipment and see what we get started on here with as a new farmer and it looks like <laughs> We have really quite a large amount of equipment straight off the bat. Uh, small tractors, we've got a Fed Favorite a 511C. Uh, medium tractors, we have a Massey Ferguson 7715S. Harvesters, we've got a Class Tryon 720. Color handlers, we have a New Holland TH7.5. 4-2 Elite. Cars, you start with a Lizard Pickup 2017. Trailers, you get a Class Carrot 140TD. Headers, you've got a Class Combo Flex 1080 for the Tryon Combine. Cultivators is a Cockling Vector 570. Seeders, there's a Potinger Verisem C6F. Rollers, you get a Dalbo Power Roll 1230HD. Mowers, there's a Potinger Novacat A10 Crossflow and a Novacat 301 AM ED Pro. Baylors, there's a Massey Ferguson MFRB 4160V ProTech Baylor Wrapper Combo. Teller Handler Tools, you get a Magisai Universal Bucket and Bale for. Header Trailer, there's a Nardi N6035 for the header. And finally, you've got a Fent. 3300 and an adco 2300 weight all in all i think that's a really good starting setup for this farm especially considering that you own the bga and you own this pretty big grass field over here field 29 uh is uh, is a great start the cross flow and the uh the the automatic wrapping baler the massey ferguson bale wrapper uh yeah that is uh that is a really good start as well so cut that field uh make sure that you win row it into a single row with the cross flow bale it and transport it in fact i think the only thing you're missing from this which you'd need to go and buy yeah there isn't one there uh i would get an an, an auto stacking uh bale or uh yeah an auto stacker for round bales so one of uh these bale loaders yeah in fact that one the rbm at 2000 i think is the place to spend your first money on here grab one of those get that field cut baled uh, wrapped and then transport these to the bga which you own and you will start making money straight away on here such a quick way to make money and uh and 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 get your yourself moving and expand your farm quickly uh get turning those fields around uh all in all though uh this is pretty good map i think it's got it's got a lot going for it as far as single player goes i, I think you have the three farms here don't to me lend for a multi-farm multiplayer i think a single farm multiplayer would work well on here it's definitely a map that works well with medium and large machinery uh, there's plenty of big fields to get your teeth into 
plenty of forestry to have a go at here as well uh, i think it would be a great map to have a go with some of that at as well um so yeah go grab it from the mod hub it is available for pc mac uh ps4 ps5 xbox one and xbox series x and s uh so go and try this out uh i think it's a cracking map uh you should uh you should uh, go and rate it five stars if you like it as well uh for now i'm gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye